You know, Lacey, about 10 years or so ago, Mercedes reintroduced the retractable hardtop on the SLK convertible, and we always had regular convertibles for all those years between, say, the 50s and then, and I think they served us very, very well. This new trend to retractable hardtops is a bit of a fad, uh, and it might not be for everybody. What's the major downside? Well, you know, Zach, for me, I know convertibles aren't necessarily practical, but not having that storage space in the trunk makes a huge difference if you're looking at buying a car, and for me, I, it does, it makes a big difference. Yeah, you, you've got the extra insulation, so it's a little warmer, a little quieter, but you lose out on that cargo space, so now the car really does become impractical. Well, you have to keep this in mind with whoever's buying this car. Somebody's gonna buy a convertible as a second car or as a weekend toy, maybe one person drives it, while the other person probably has a more useful vehicle like an SUV or a sedan. So in those instances where you're going golfing, going to Home Depot or whatever, you're gonna take that car, this one, or whatever convertible it is, will be used as a weekend toy. Now there's other people who say, okay, all I've really ever wanted was a coupe or a convertible and it's going to be my only car. Now you really have to think it through. Can you live with the lack of storage space? Can you live with it being a little bit colder if it's a regular convertible or do you really, really want the security? That's another part we haven't touched on, the security of a fixed roof people aren't going to be able to break in. So you really have to do your homework. You really have to think about it. Is it a weekend toy you can live with? Or if you're living with it every day, can you put up with the lack of storage space? I think your answer is... Well, you know what? I would go with the soft top. I'll be honest. I That would give me enough storage space to make that impractical car a little bit more practical. And the top's going to be down most of the time anyway, so the noise, insulation, really isn't a big deal for me. For me, I don't like convertibles. I'll stick with a coupe.